Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Voice of Cards. Last time we left off, we got back here to town, and it looks like we lost one of our party members. Yeah, the last thing that happened was the thing at the arena. Sorry, it's been a few days. Head for the Heroes Dominion Inn. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, because we got into a fight with those people and I kicked that dude's ass. At the inn, eager to rest. You mentioned to Lavia once more, what brings you to the West Isle? You speak of the current state of Omega Isle, and how the Maiden's relics are key to saving the island. Lavia hears your tale in full, only to politely decline your entreaty. He pauses for a moment, lost in thought. I'm not the Maiden, he confesses rather abruptly. Uh-huh. So who is? Uh, is the maiden dead? Then why do you have the relic? Black helpfully explains that since Livia is not an official maiden, his relic is no more than an ordinary weapon, and therefore of no help to Laddie. But it looks so crazy, and it says Crimson Memories Relic and stuff. How will you respond? You're not? He explains that while it's true he was born into a long line of maidens, he has not been recognized as the maiden on account of being a man. Okay, so I mentioned <clears throat> before how I was like, are they using maiden in like a non-gendered way? Because maiden is usually a gendered term. So... Yeah, that makes sense. So you are from a line of maidens. But you were- you yourself were not born a woman, so... Okay. That his mother, the previous Maiden, fell in battle. And he has simply been named as Maiden to fill the role in the interim. Livia, his confession complete, bids you farewell, and walks off. I wonder what's special specifically about being a woman that gives you some kind of... I'm guessing that's probably going to be the arc for this entire area, right? Is, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Because there's nothing, there's nothing, I, I can't imagine there's anything that different, right? <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see. Clearly, the Maiden's circumstances are as varied as the islands on which they live. Livia was removed from the party. Lack is eligible for battle. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. Our Crimson ally sought power enough to secure her legacy. Laddie gained memories of friendship. So yeah, as you can see there, I did change my card back to that blue one. I forgot to mention that. But yeah, I'm wondering, I'm like, why is it specifically that just women supposedly have this power? I wonder if they're going to give a reason for that at some point. At night. Okay. Are we going to find out that Lavia does actually have the power? <laughs> Speak with your compatriots at the inn. Alright. Hello. Laddie sits in the chair, head bobbing in a desperate, if futile, struggle against sleep. She's no doubt exhausted from all the fighting. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Lack floats in the air, its mouth gently opening and closing. You presume it to be asleep. You lift your hands close to its ear and clap once with vigor. Explosions! Help! We're all gonna die! It shrieks, shooting even further into the air. Uh, okay, chill. Everyone is plainly spent from a day of fighting. The time has come for rest. Okay, so what's... Hmm. What's gonna happen here now? I'm so confused. Enter the Maiden's match with me, Lavia blurts out nonsensically, barreling into your room. I'm down for a trip to the arena. How will you respond to Lavia's request? What's the Maiden's match? It's a special tournament, and it starts soon, Lavia explains breathlessly. As it happens, they'll select the next Maiden from the winners. Okay... <laughs> Is 
that happens, they'll select the next maiden from the winners, but like... I was under the impression, based off of what you said, that they only think women can be maidens. So, are they opening this up to everyone, or just women? A fitting festival for the might-obsessed hero's dominion, you think? But will they actually recognize Levia as the next maiden if he wins? Or any other guy that wins. I'll respond to Livia's request. And do what exactly? Livia says he simply wants to win the tournament and gaze smugly at all the people who've called him weak over the years. Fair. You think back on how the citizens of the Dominion treat Livia. How hard he works at a dangerous occupation, yet receives no respect for it. You can hear the pain of it in his voice every time he speaks. All right, it's a deal, you say. Besides, fighting people from all sorts of different places sounds like fun. I love, I love the arena battles in JRPGs. Honestly, love tournament arcs in like Shonen too. Even if they are a tad bit overdone sometimes, it's just such a nice way to showcase the various characters' strengths. When does it? You begin, but Lavia cuts you off with an excited tomorrow. All right, what is this house that we're staying in? Where do we get a house? The sun is dazzling on this, the morning of the tournament. The clanking of blades echoes all around you. Yeah, I mean, I imagine the arena was going to have to be something we do for the main story here because there wasn't really a lot to this island. It was a very small island. There's no dungeon as far as I can tell. Let's get to reception quick, Lavia chirps as he joins you en route to the arena. Although I guess there's going to have to be one somewhere because we need to be able to do the maiden ritual in this area, right? The arena's reception to register at the tournament. Maybe it's over there, that place. That's maybe that's where the altar is. All right, let's head to the arena then. Is our uh, friend going to be joining us? The the knight knight Chan, possibly. So, do you have anything different to say? Eagerly waits his turn in the ring. My quarrel is not with humans. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. you're you're still boring. Okay. Here to pick up a few scars, the man behind the desk asks with a smirk. He begins explaining the rules of the maiden's match. Participants register in pairs, taking on the roles of maiden and attendant as they fight. Oh, so I'm not going to be fighting with Laddie. Once you're registered, you can go wait in the vestibule, the man explains, gesturing at the far door. So is it just going to be me and Lavia, or is it going to be Lavia and his attendant, and then me and Laddie? Like, did you mean enter at the same time as you, or enter as your attendant? What do you think you're doing? The crimson attendant's voice stomps you in your tracks. Let's go, Lavia says as he runs through the door, perhaps presuming that Gladio has no business dictating what he can and cannot enter. Immature brat. Gladio sighs, his helmet hiding his expression from view. Even so, you detect a note of worry rather than fury in his voice. Don't worry, I'll kick ass. Let's go. Come on, Lavia, check in with your compatriots in the vestibule and prepare for the battle ahead. Okay, talk to you. I'll go easy on you, the woman says, brimming with confidence. I kind of like older badass lady here. That's such a cool design. May I help you? Uh, I don't really think I need anything from the item shop. I think we're mostly good. How many of those do I have? How many Omni Savs? Let's, let's just check my inventory really quick. Especially since if we don't have Laddie... We won't be able to, because I'm assuming we're not going to have Laddie, because it sounds like only two people can enter. So, let's just check my items really quickly. Uh, we have a pretty good amount of salves. I think we're good. I think we're good. We have one Inspire Elixir. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll be fine. Alright. Uh, talk to you, talk to you. Hello. 
The man's knees knock together. You reach out to him, concerned. Don't mind me. This is all excitement, he barks, sweating. Yeah, God, me before I have to go up and, like, give a presentation or something. Laddie seems to be in good spirits. You imagine she'd say, this ought to be fun. You know we're going to fight, don't you? You ask. Laddie turns pale. Clearly, she misunderstood what kind of tournament this was. <laughs> What kind of tournament did you think it was? A chess tournament? We'll show them all, Lavia shouts, psyching himself up for the fight. First round is about to begin. All warriors to the battlefield. The ringleader's voice echoes off the stone walls of the lobby. Onward to battle. Okay, proceed through the vestibule. Uh, it's gonna be really weird if I actually get to use Laddie here. Yeah, let's go, because I was under the impression it would just be the maiden and attendant, and I thought I would be serving the... Okay, that's weird. That's weird, right? That's really weird that I can use Laddie here. <laughs> On the west side, we see we have some warriors from another land, eager to earn the title of maiden. On the east side, a band of warriors with our weak maiden, the pride of the isle, at its center. There'll be no aid for you if you get hurt, mind. Prove your worth to the Crimson Spirit. All right. Time to show these jerks what you can do. I don't know if they're jerks yet. They could be fine. Yeah, okay, so this is unfair, because there's three of us and there's two of you. <laughs> okay, you do have a lot of HP, though. Happenstance cards. And add two to all allies and enemies defense. Okay, kind of annoying. Um, I'm just gonna have you pass, or charge, sorry. So we don't get Gladio here, which is unfortunate. Um, Scorching Slash. I might just have you do a regular slice. Yeah. Let's just slice. Boom. Okay, yeah, that was okay damage. And you can do a thunder strike on this dork. I hope you don't heal because I'm focusing your attendant here first. So I really hope you won't you won't heal this this person. Ooh, you're weak to lightning. Good to know. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, you can you can heal. How obnoxious. I think I may just be able to punch past that though. To be honest, so I don't think it'll be the biggest issue in the world. I think I can just punch right through that heal. I mean, if you didn't keep getting the defense buff, it would be slightly easier, but uh, let's charge again. I'll have Lavia do a little regular attack on you. Who cares, just punch through the heal. Let's do it. There we go, that's eight damage. I think I can do 24. Yeah, I think I can do 24. I think we can just barely do enough. Of course, I'm not going to get the paralysis because r my rolling sucks. Boom. Four. Ten. Is that enough? Yeah, there we go. Haha! -ha. I'll just punch right through your heel. Adorable. Alright, so, uh. I'll allies and enemies take. Wow! Interesting. Uh, never seen that one before. So let's go ahead and heal up. Baron here. Baron did take a little bit of a beating. Cool. But, uh, you... So, I wonder if you're weak to fire, or if you're just gonna be weak to lightning. Again. No, you're not- you're not weak. From what I can tell to anything, really. Or, to, or to fire, rather. Maybe all humans are just weak to lightning. It wouldn't be the... You know, it would make sense if humans were weak to lightning. Lightning hurts. Of course, so does fire. Yeah, you're just gonna heal yourself? That's not gonna win you the fight, mind. That's not gonna win you the fight. Uh alright, let's let's take this slow since you're since you're the last one left. We don't really have to rush this. So let's just uh work on healing Baron back up in preparation for the next fight. Um I can hit you with a fire slash. Since Lavia does do pretty good damage, and we got a good roll out of it as well. 
All right, and Baron can just finish you off here with a basic stab. Poke, poke. There we go. All right, not too bad. Still weirded out that I have Laddie in the party, but uh, whatever. I guess they wanted to make sure I had a healer. Unbelievable! Our weak maiden troop has done it. How long will fortune smile upon them? I wonder. Mm-hmm. Check in with your compatriots in the vestibule and prepare for the battle ahead. All right. Lavia wipes the sweat from his brow as you approach. You greet him, and he leaps back with a yelp. Don't sneak up on me like that, he snaps, with no small amount of embarrassment. Ah, youth. Awkward youth. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We spooked him. Second round is about to begin. All warriors to the battlefield. All right. Lego. I'm ready to kick some more ass and take some more names. Yeah. What do we got now? Oh, okay, this time there's actually three of you. Okay, now, now this makes more sense for why I have Laddie. Okay, so you can just enter with as many people as you want, I guess. On the west side, our own battle-tested soldiers. Victory is all but assured, they tell us. I wonder if we're gonna have to fight Gladio. Maybe Gladio entered with someone else? Maybe that's why Gladio was worried, because he's like, I'm gonna have to fight them. He side, the lucky visitors of the previous match, starring our very own maid. There's still time to run, you know. Why are you like? Hmm. Prove your worth okay. to the Crimson Spirit. The only way out is through. Let the second battle begin. All right. You know what? Baron is terrifying. You guys need to put some respect on my name, okay? All right. Happenstance cards. Which one of you would be the healer? I'm. I'm I find myself wondering if any of you are the healer. Um, just charge. We'll, we'll probably do a grand slice here. Nah, maybe I should do the thunder strike in the hope that I get the paralyze. Ow. Okay, um... Let's, uh... Let's put, pick one to focus on. Let's focus on you. You're all red. Are you gonna resist fire? Doesn't seem like it. Good hit, good crit. Oh, that is amazing. Deal damage, attack down. No, Baron. Oh, but we resist it. Yeah. All right, Thunderstrike. That's possibly overkill. I don't need to use that actually. Let's just grand slice then, because let's let's make sure here. You have eight defense. You have twelve HP. If uh, we do that, yeah, this should still kill you. All right, slashy slashy. Bye bye. Cool. All right, not too bad at all. Luckily, Lavia got that got that uh, crit. And okay, so you're next. You just you just put a target on your back. All enemies take and allies take three damage. That's fine. Okay, let's uh, let's charge. I'm not going to heal here because I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Um, let's fire slash you. I want you dead before next turn. Ah, uh, one. Could you get the crit at least? Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you listening to me. Fortune favors the bold. Okay, now... Good dodge, Baron. Let's Thunderstrike this idiot. And... I think you're gonna die. Of course, now we get the Paralyze, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna die. So, that looked really cool with uh, Lavia framed in the middle there. Boom. Oh, wow. No, oh, because you have way higher defense. Whoopsie. Yeah, that would do it. But you, we got the Paralyze, so no, that, that totally mattered. I'm really glad we got that. Um, let's heal Baron up. Laddie needed it more, but Baron's more integral to keep alive for the entire fight. Okay, so you're Paralyzed. We don't have to worry about you for a bit. Let's attack this other character then. And then I can just finish uh, both of you off with like a grand slice or something. Okay, inflict your stupid attack down. Nobody cares. That's fine. All right, so let's just do. Uh, I don't think I could kill you, even if I got a good roll there. So let's just do a basic attack here. 
There we go. Actually, never mind. I probably could have killed you. If I had rolled a four or up, we would have killed there. Okay. Well, now, if I make it to your next turn, Baron, we'll be good. We could also just have Laddie kill right here. We do have increased attack, so this is totally enough. Boom. You're dead. Now, the question is... Lavia. Okay, if I get a good roll with you, we would kill here. So, I think that's enough? Yeah. Good stuff. Easy win. Congrats. Thank you. I worked really hard for that, I like to think. Laddie leveled up. One HP. Ooh, generate two gems? Oh. Wow, they really just want Laddie to be your your gym charger. The weak maiden's team continues their steady advance. Surely their luck has run out by now. Oh, fuck off. Okay. I'm not gonna take this. Check in with your compatriots. Prepare for the battle ahead. Okay, so whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go mess around with your uh, uh skills. Sorry, Laddie. Uh so yeah, you have- you can generate two gems now. So... Let's get rid of sharpness for that. And let's move refresh over here. Uh, and put you- there we go. Cool. Looks good to me. Fantastic. Laddie, you are basically everything I wanted. Just a massively fantastic support character. Alright, so... Hello. Buckle up, Buttercup. Lack shouts for some reason at Laddie, who is drained from the consecutive battles. No. Poor Laddie. If we win this next fight, that's it, Lavia says in quiet awe. Let's wipe those smug looks off everyone's faces, you say by way of encouragement. Yeah, Lavia shouts in response. Let's do it. Final round, all warriors. Announces the final battle. There's no turning back now. Alright. Are we healed up? Do we heal up in between bouts? I just want to make sure. We do. Okay. We're good. Let's go in here and kick some ass. I'm I feel like it's probably gonna be Gladio. I really feel like that's gonna be the twist, is that Gladio entered Yup. <laughs> Who else should be waiting for you in the final round? But the Crimson Attendant. Or you're just who they wanted to be the final fight because you're supposed to be really strong. Despite this being a team event, he's battled his way to the final round all by himself. Do your worst, he bellows, striking an intimidating pose. Don't need to tell me twice, Lavia barks back, gripping his sword for dear life and fixing his gaze upon his attendant. Prove your worth to the Crimson Spirit. Despite Let the final battle begin. Like the others. Oop, sorry, I didn't know you were reading too, narrator. Okay, let's go. I'm ready to kick some ass. So this is why you were worried. 100 HP, 18 defense is an intimidating amount of defense, I must say. Okay, three tall allies recovery rate. That's a pretty good one. All right, well, let's just go ahead and use our charge spell then. Boom, boom. Give me two gems. God, this is so good. You can build gems so fast. All right, so... Um, bisecting Blade might be really good here if I can actually get the five. Let's find out if you resist fire first off. If you resist it, we're not going to bother using it. You do resist it. Makes sense. Okay, so how about a Thunderstrike then, dork? Are you also immune to paralysis? Well, I didn't get the paralysis, so we'll never know. Well, we might know soon, but we won't know right now. Boom, and then boom. Okay, yeah, you're very defensive. You resist that. Oh my god, please. Okay, well, we're gonna have to use Bisecting Blade. Three to fire damage dealt by all allies and enemies. Um, hmm. I'll just charge spell again. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to use Lavia's attack here that goes through defense. I wish I had Baron's attack that goes through defense on as well. Okay, you better roll a five or higher. Thank you. Boom. There we go. So that goes through defense. That's why that worked. Um, I wonder if you resist this? Air thrust? If you were weak to air, that would be very good. You resist fire and lightning, so... You... Yeah, you you don't you don't resist it, but also that doesn't really do any damage. Ow! Pain, it is my life. Oh my god, he has even more defense! Okay, um, heal Baron up. It seems like Lavia, funnily enough, is actually going to be the one that defeats this enemy because you're the, you're the only one that has an attack that just. Uh, well, no, this doesn't go through defense, but it does enough damage to make it worth it because it does crazy damage. Yeah, I kind of always looked at that skill and thought it went through defense, but no, it does not. Um. So that's not going to do any damage, really. Grand Slice, we have self-heal. Uh, yeah, I really wish I could switch my skills in battle. We don't have a, an item that could help us here. Uh, I think you should probably just self-heal, Baron. Not really a lot you can do. Until that defense goes down, you're kind of just stuck. Now would be a good time to have Lack, actually. Defense down if the roll is four or greater. Ow. Okay, well, we're gonna have to heal you up. Next fight. Okay, your defense is down. Good shit. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and heal. Kill target of all status ailments except KO. Your defense is down to nine. I think I would rather just heal you than worry about getting rid of that debuff. That's yeah, probably the better call. Alright, so I could do extra fire damage, but you resist it, so... I think Bisecting Blade is still the play here. I think Bisecting Blade is still the play. Hopefully... We still... G okay, we're getting lucky with this. I wonder if some of the skills, like, your chance to, to roll high is weighted, because the skill would really suck otherwise. The powerful attendant bears down with all his might, but Lavia holds firm. Yeah, I mean, you were the one doing most of the damage that fight. Congratulations, I kept getting really good rolls. As the pair struggle, a section of the arena wall suddenly blows apart. Uh, is it that monster we captured? Yup. <laughs> A familiar beast emerges from the dust and the rubble. One you swear you saw in chains but a day ago. I thought it was so funny that this monster has like a fur loincloth. Like between its legs. That's, that's funny to me. It looks weird. Whipped into a frenzy, the beast whirls a hammer over its head and charges you. Alright, come at me, nerd. So do we have Gladio now? We do. Okay, Gladio's Gladio's back on the squad. Now you're our true boss. Happenstance cards. Three to all allies and enemies defense. Okay, we're back in it now. Let's go. And I got charge spell. God, Gladio, you're so busted. You're so busted. You don't have a lot of attack, but now you're so damn powerful. All right. Uh, 25 fire damage. That's the one that's guaranteed damage. That's right. Yeah, this one's guaranteed 25 damage, and that's not. Yeah, okay. Well, I have enough. Let's let's give this another shot, why don't we? I got so lucky before, can I keep the luck going? Yes, I can. Boom. All right, Uh, right, let's hit you with a Thunder Strike from us. Oh, no paralysis. Yeah, see, like, I keep consistently getting it on the bisecting slash, but my luck is really bad on this one. I do wonder if it's weighted slightly. Oh yeah, you resist lightning. 
I have targets HP is rolled three or greater. Okay. That's fine. That's not a big deal. All right, Gladio. Uh, inflict defense down. Hell yeah. Let's inflict defense down. Nine. Getting really lucky on these rolls. Here we go. Good. Now your defense is only ten. Ooh, gain a gem. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, you're unfortunately going to need to heal Gladio this turn. So let's go ahead and do that. And then Lavia. So were they weak to fire? I don't remember. You resist lightning, so. No, you're not weak to fire. Okay, well, you just do an air thrust. Get some of that air damage in. Ooh, a six. Boom. All right, we're making our way through your through your health bar. Inflict all oh, three or greater. Good. Okay, I'm really glad that didn't happen. Ow! Jeez. Stop that. Um. Five to on defense. Uh, you do 17 damage. Call enemies' attention until I'm gonna do that. Please target me. Don't use that big AOE attack again. I will die if you do that. Okay, that's good. I like that. Get a free little baby heal at the end of the round. Uh, Laddie, I'm actually gonna have you use a uh, Omni Sav here, so we can heal everyone because you don't have an AOE healing ability yet. Oh, that that helps with salves too. I thought the recovery rate thing was um it just meant at the end of your at the end of the round, you know, where like Hyde would get that three HP back or whatever, or was that the end of battle? I thought it meant that. But apparently it does not. Um I'm gonna try for the bisecting blade again. It's expensive, but Oh my god, yeah, no, I haven't missed one of these yet. Holy shit. Oh my god. Big damage. Okay. Yeah, I haven't missed one of those yet. That's That seems wild to me, right? I just keep getting good rolls on it. And another crit. Love to see it. Magnificent. Oh yeah, this fight's over, friend. Oh. Wait, wait. Okay, it is actually over. I thought I was actually going to have to kill the monster, but no, we're just going to put it in chains again. Maybe give it a big, uh, better sell this time, huh? It does have giant? You didn't take its hammers. <laughs> it has been a brutal struggle. The beast's knees buckle ever so briefly. There's your opening. Time for our special attack. The Crimson Maiden and his attendant bellow in unison. Okay, special attack. Oh, they're gonna do it. You have 5 HP. Hey, you had more HP than that. Southern Cross. Attack plus 20. Yep. Let's do it. Yeah, I mean, that does look really cool. There we go. Good work. Good work. That's cool that they finished it off the like Crimson that. The Crimson Maiden and his stalwart attendant's attack slays the beast. So we did kill it, but we wanted to give them the glory. Gladio at last acknowledges the strength hidden within Lavia, and recognizes him as an equal. Use that strength to fulfill your destiny, Gladio says with the air of a proud father seeing his own son off on an adventure. God, you look like a sick badass. Holy shit. Look at this dude. Oh my god. Wow. That's some cool art. Lavia prepares to address the raucous crowd. He places a hand to his chest, gathers himself for a moment, and begins his speech. He tells of his history with Gladio, who trained him ever since he was a young boy and raised him in place of his departed mother. Gladio taught him the true meaning of strength, so he could one day fulfill the maiden's destiny. 
He molded Lavia into a strong young man from an immature boy. And now that his strength has been universally recognized, Lavia tells the crowd it is time to reveal a truth that he has kept well hidden. Lavia is in fact a woman, and thus the rightful successor to the Crimson Maiden. I was thinking that's probably where they were going with this. I mean, they kept referring to Lavia as him the entire time, but I'm like, is that where they're going with this? Is Lavia actually a woman? So... All right, yeah, 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 that makes, that makes sense, that makes sense. I, Lavia, swear to protect this land as its rightful maiden. She raises her relic to the sky. It begins to shine with a light to rival the sun overhead. So, so how did it come that people thought you were a man this entire time? Were you playing into it? Into it? Did they just assume because you have short hair? <laughs> like, how how did that how did that even happen? I wonder. Hmm. Lavia. The Crimson Maiden by name and birthright basks in the glory her people rain down upon her. So I'm wondering, did was there actually foreshadowing? Because I I remember saying before I came to this area, it was it specifically said something about a boisterous young woman, but it might have said maiden. And I was like, I, if they said woman, then that would have totally been foreshadowing slash straight up spoiled the twist here. Hmm. Okay. Her small frame shows no sign of buckling under the immense responsibility that is now upon her. At last, she looks ready. Okay. Lavia is mobbed by a heaving crowd of admirers. Seeing as they're bound to keep her busy for some time, and surmising that there will be other opportunities to borrow the relic, you decide to depart Hero's Dominion. Lavia was removed from the party. Well, I'm glad people now finally accept you. I'm really glad people now finally accept you. You've been putting up with shit from these people for quite a while. Oh. Oh, I was like, I heard noises. And I was looking around behind me, I was like, what are my cats messing with? No, that's the arena crowd cheering. So yeah, this was just an entire tale of acceptance. I, I do find it weird, like, did Lavia never tell anyone that she was a woman? Why did you create this lie that you were a man? Maybe because you... Well, now I was gonna say maybe because you thought more people would accept you as a fighter because if you were if you were a boy, but no, that doesn't make sense because you need to be... You need to be a woman to be a maiden, apparently, in this world, so... Weird. I am confused where that whole thing started. I'm willing to think that maybe just the townspeople just kind of assumed, based off of your appearance, that you were a man and you kind of just went with it until eventually you felt comfortable enough to just reveal the fact, No, I am actually a woman and I am the maiden and all of you can go fuck yourselves. <laughs> so, alright. Uh, where are we going? The inn? Leave Hero's Dominion. Okay. So, yeah, we're just supposed to leave. Alright. You bid the Dominion farewell. As the sun dyes the sky a deep red. In celebration of the Maiden's victory. It said you could probably get back the relic, like, you know, the next day or something like that. So I was like, okay, do we just sleep at the inn and then get it? Where do you think you're going without saying goodbye? The voice belongs to none other than the Crimson Maiden herself, guardian of the West Isle. No, I like the outfit. The red and the black works really well. I like it. She approaches you, serene and calm as can be. Who is this person? Was the belligerence and bravado all an act? A lie? Is there a difference? Yeah, now I'm like, which which was the which was the real personality for you? Were you boisterous and everything? Or is this more you? Or are you just leaning into the title of maiden so you feel like you have to be serene and stuff? Acknowledging your friendship. 
forged in the crucible of battle. She hands the maiden's relic to Laddie, on the condition that should she become a maiden, Laddie must visit the Dominion and return the relic. If I can do it, you can do it. Go get him, Laddie. Lavia gives a hearty wave as you push off from shore. Why would the Crimson Maiden, whose biggest wish has just come true, be crying? No, no, no. Her face must be catching the light of the setting sun. Yes, that's why her eyes look so red. No, her eyes are red because we're friends. We're, na we're Nakama now, damn it. Okay, so eight attack, one speed. Oh, that reminds me. Wait, no, I gotta go back in the Hero's Dominion. There's that, there's that dope sword that I can buy there. Ardent and power-hungry youth in crimson. And a stalwart, battle-worn crimson knight. The child studies the blade under the woman's- or the, the warrior's tutelage. Jeez. The most powerful gather in a dominion ruled by might. The youth, unable to become a maiden, is at the mercy of destiny. and enters a tournament to prove her worth. At Tourney's End, she is recognized as the Crimson Maiden. Damn right. I worked hard for that. Her gallant figure is proof of a maiden's medal. Tale of the Crimson Maiden. Finn. All right, that was cool. Really, really, really neato. I am still... She challenged all comers with admirable bravery. Laddie gained memories of friendship. I am still confused how the idea that you were not a woman even got out in the first place. I don't know if it was something that you pushed or other people just assumed, but who knows. Hostile, customize the appearance of a certain game element such as your avatar. Okay. Build a collection of... I... That was a weird time to get a tutorial for that. Uh... Double heal? Restore 30 HP to all allies? Laddie gazes out at the horizon from the deck of the ship as it rolls over the waves. That's busted. The Crimson Maiden became a maiden in the end. You reckon Laddie's thinking about that journey and what it means for her. Laddie takes out her book and scribbles something inside, which she then shows to you. Let's go back to Omega Apparently, Village. Apparently, Laddie's mother was the previous maiden of the village. There might be some clues as to how to become a maiden in the personal effects she left behind. Her proposal is as big as her handwriting is small. You nod firmly and cut the rudder in the direction of Omega Isle. Okay, we can do that. First, I want to go back to town, though. Black claps you on the shoulder, saying, You could do with a rest here and there yourself. It then starts to chant some kind of spell. Hither, thither, there, here, this away, and that. Lack casts a spell on the ship, and suddenly, the sails unfurl and the wheel begins to turn without any assistance. It explains that your ship can now travel to any island you've already visited on its own. You've never seen Lack look so smug with itself, and that's saying something. Now freely move to any island. Cool. Travel to another island. Remain on this island. Because uh, I want to go get that crazy dope sword that I saw. Build the necessary requirements on like Lavia, Gladio. Yeah, makes sense. Whoops, I didn't mean to... Damn it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally moved the other stick. Um, I could just run from the fight, I guess. 
decent chance. There we go. Cool. Bye bye. Yeah, so I want to go get that other weapon. Because I think I have the money for it now. It was what, 8,000? Yeah, I have 8,000 gold. Uh, so yeah, let's go grab that. I don't know if I'll. If there will be a better weapon in the next shop or something. I hope not, because I'm spending basically my entire cash stack on this right now. But, uh, I'm hoping this one is the best I'm gonna get for a bit. I feel like it would have been hard to get 8,000 before this. So let's buy. There it is, the Protector's Sword. We don't get any extra attack power from it, but my speed goes up immensely and I get three extra defense. Hmm. No extra attack power and all I get is defense. Is that worth 8,000? Actually? I don't know. Three extra defense isn't that big a deal. The four speed isn't nice, but it's once again not that big a deal. Hmm. I'll hold off, I guess. I could also get this, but that would lower my speed even more. The damn frost mail. But it would increase my defense a ridiculous amount. We'll hold off. I'll see what the next armorer has. How about that? I'm kind of happy with my weapon right now, so yeah, let's just let's just go ahead and get out of here. Head out. Yep. And I, I guess I'll go back to the to the island, but I won't do anything else this episode. I don't believe. I think we are done now. This is a fantastic spot to stop. Excuse me. A man bumps shoulders with you as he attempts to rush past. I'm so sorry. I'm late for my match, he exclaims, completely flustered. This is a new event. I've never seen this one. He hurriedly explains that he's on his way to the arena where the strongest in the realm are gathering to compete. If you think you stand a chance, why don't you join the tournament, he suggests, then dashes off. Travel to another island. So there's going to be, there is another tournament on the island. I don't think I would be able to take that yet, but, um... Yeah, maybe, maybe maybe after we get some more equipment and stuff. But for now, I think we're probably going to go ahead and end this episode of Voice of Cards off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.